the dimensions we create in AutoCAD is uh, based on some dimension styles. Dimension styles work the same way as uh, text styles. Just like when we change some text using uh, text styles and we apply some uh, property changes to those uh, text styles, we can do the same things on uh, these uh, dimension styles. I've got a some uh, mechanical part here that I've applied all these dimensions here. Let me say that all these dimensions uh, uh, are applied to this mechanical part uh, using AutoCAD default standard dimension style. And we can see our dimension style using the, by going to the Home tab and uh, clicking on Annotation flyout here. And this is our dimension style, which is a standard. And there's a standard dimension style because there must be uh, at least one style to uh, that we sh uh, be able to make dimensions or create dimensions. Now, if you want to uh, make some global changes, this is the place we uh, come to. I'm going to click on this, and there pops up the dimension style manager right here. Now, there's a preview here we can see, and whatever uh, kind of a change we apply to this uh, dimension style, uh, there we can see the result. Now, as you see, the current dimension style is a standard, and which is the only dimension style we've got here. Now, on the right, uh, we can see there are some buttons uh, that we can uh, choose any dimensions that we've created and set as current, or make new dimension, uh, new styles, or modify uh, modify one of those styles, or override one of those styles or compare one style to another. Now I can make a new style and uh, give it uh, some property change. Let's actually look at that. Um, as we're talking here, uh, as we're seeing here, uh, the new style name is copy of standard. That's because uh, when we make a new style, all the properties of the uh, previous style is being copied onto our new style, and we're uh, making modifications on those uh, new styles from there. Now I'm going to cancel this because uh, I don't want to make a new style. I want to modify this style for now. I'm going to just modify now. You see, there's a big uh, dialog box here, uh, which there are lots of options in uh, seven tabs right here. Now we're not going to go and uh, talk about each option in these boxes. Uh, in fact, you could go and hover on any of these options, and uh, AutoCAD gives you a description of that. Uh, or you can press F1 on your keyboard and read a little more about the um, modified dimension style and the standard dimension. Now, as we can see, the modified dimension style is just like our ribbon uh, and it's uh, based on tabs, based on what we want to change. Here we can uh, you choose one of these tabs and start to uh, change the properties of that tab. Now, let's go through a couple of these uh, properties and see what they do. I'm going to go to the primary units tab, and from there, as we see, uh, the AutoCAD, our standard dimension in a uh, style uh, gives us 
uh, four precision decimal here as we see there are four decimals and let's change that let's change that to maybe two and we can see and we can preview what happened right from here and uh, let's click OK let's click close you can see all those changes are applied to uh, our already made uh, dimensions now as we see there's no change at our angle dimension now uh, I'll press the spacebar to bring that uh, dimensions file manager up once more and see why is that it's modified as we take a look at it here angle or dimensions and uh, have their own uh, group here the units format and the precision are much different from those now let's uh, leave it alone and uh, go to the text here and change the text alignment here the text alignment is uh, horizontal right now I want to uh, change it to align with dimensions line as we see what happens there uh, and my cursor uh, I mean uh, my dimension errors uh, look a little large let's take care of those symbols and errors and the error size are here let's change that to 0.12 and press tab accept that and press ok and close as we see there are lots of change all of those are applied to these dimensions as we see the dimension styles uh, give us uh, the same flexibility as text styles and if you want to make some global changes uh, that's the place we want to go and just by changing some properties of a style we can modify all of our dimensions uh, at once